Welcome, welcome wrestling fans. My name is Christopher J. Haas. We have a special matchup next. We've got a former champion from WCW, ECW, and the WWF, former radical Harry Saturn. And he is taking on a relative newcomer in John Heidenreich, a former football player out of New Orleans, Louisiana. And while he is less experienced than Perry Saturn, there's no doubt that he is tall, he is strong, and he is athletic. So this won't be easy. Heidenreich with the advantage. Hip toss right out of the gate. Very nice work by Heidenreich. Perry Saturn doesn't like that disrespectful slap by Perry Saturn. Collar and elbow tie-up. Heidenreich easily overpowering Saturn. Saturn fights out of it, though. Saturn with a big strike to the head. Saturn with the Irish whip. Oh, big knee by Heidenreich. And a clothesline! Heidenreich not letting up with the stomps. Running into the ropes. Elbow drop, no! Saturn gets out of the way. And capitalizes with a neck breaker! Perry Saturn with the advantage now. And Saturn and Heidenreich train balls here. Boots to the midsection. Perry Saturn trying to get an advantage here. Heidenreich reverses the Irish whip. Oh man, big elbow to the crotch. And a nice hammer to the back. And the knee lift by Heidenreich nails it. Might go for the pin now. One, two, and no. Although, to be fair, I don't know if that move's ever put anyone down in professional wrestling. Heidenreich with the Irish whip again. Saturn ducks the clothesline, shoves him off. Oh, and he sweeps the leg! And drops the elbow right on his neck. Perry Saturn not letting up. He is working Heidenreich hard. Referee asking if Heidenreich gives up. Heidenreich fighting out of it. But Saturn not letting him do it. Wait a minute. Inverted atomic drop by Saturn. Wait, Saturn into the ropes. Missile drop kick. Nice springboard missile drop kick by Perry Saturn. One, two, and no. Saturn headbutts him in the gut now. Saturn working the knee against the rope. And oh my god! That had to hurt. That had to crush his knee right against the canvas. Saturn not letting up on this newcomer. Saturn headbutting him in the gut again. Snapmare now. And big kick to the back. Saturn with the elbow. Saturn is just not letting up. Saturn's got Heidenreich again. Heidenreich fights out with a knee. Saturn ducks the clothesline. Super kick! Can I put him down? One, two, and no! Heidenreich kicks out. Still strong resolve by this newcomer. Heidenreich now getting his back just stretched against Perry Saturn's knee. Perry Saturn with a chop in the corner. Shoulder blocks to the midsection. Perry Saturn tosses him into the other into the other corner. Heidenreich tries to get the boot up, but Saturn catches. Wait, oh, nice spinning clothesline by Heidenreich. Both men are down. Referee counting. Saturn and Heidenreich seem to be in perfect sync. They're getting up at the same time. Saturn goes for a shot, but Heidenreich counters. Saturn hits him in the face. Heidenreich with the Irish whip. Power slam! Very nice move by John Heidenreich. John Heidenreich following up after that one. What's he got with this one? Spine Buster! One, 
How did that not put him down? Perry Sander got him by, got him from behind, but Heidenreich will not let him. Hits to the back. Sander pulls the tricks. Big overhead suplex. Perry Sander is going to try to pull out all the stuffs to take this guy down. Perry Sander's got him. Irish up. No, wait. Saturn's up for the ride. Nice tilt the world power slam by Heidenreich. Can that do it? One, two, and no. Perry Saturn just trying to take the big man down somehow. Perry Saturn going for a clothesline. Wait, full Nelson. Saturn escapes. Gonna try to roll him into a pin. Wait, Ida Wright got him again. Wait a minute. Saturn gets him to the ground. Gets him in an arm bar. Whoa, crazy looking arm bar here. The, is this the rings of Saturn? Rings of Saturn? Tap out. Ida Wright taps out. Too bad, so sad for the newcomer Heidenreich. Maybe next time, your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Perry Saturn. Welcome back, wrestling fans. For our next exciting matchup, we have Chris Canyon, former WCW United States champion, taking on a mainstay of the independent scene, Shark Boy. Chris Canyon now also has Tori at ringside, and the crowd does not seem to be on Canyon's side here. But, whoa, look at this! Shark Boy is managing to out-wrestle Chris Canyon. How is this possible? And was he trained by Aquaman? Chris Canyon now. Shark Boy's over the ride and oh, shoulder block it. Oh, man. Canyon really just got a showboat to just about anyone. Chris Canyon's got Shark Boy in the ropes now. Clothesline misses. Oh, man. Shark Boy with the strikes. Shark Boy's up for the ride again. Ducks a clothesline. Spinning kick to the midsection. Oh, man. Very nice move by Shark Boy. And nice drop kick by Shark Boy. Man, what undersea wrestling school did this guy go to? Man, Canyon not sure what to do. He is flabbergasted at the skill of this young man, Shark Boy. Oh, now he's mocking his gimmick with the fins to the forehead. Tori with a kiss on the cheek. Trying to, I guess, psych up her man here. Unbelievable! Fans now going for a Let's Go Shark Boy chance. Oh, now Chris Canyon just mocking the fans. Canyon with an elbow to the back of the head. Canyon with an Irish whip. Shark Boy slides under. Oh, and he's biting him on the butt. He is biting Canyon on his ass. Oh, man, another very nice move. A nice, like, in modified neck breaker there by Shark Boy. Canyon draped against the ropes. Oh, man, squashing his head against the rope. Wait, Tori grabs Shark Boy's leg, causing him to trip up. Tori backs out before he, Shark Boy can do anything. Boots to the next section by Canyon. Canyon's got him. Let's go over here. Oh, oh, attitude adjustment by Chris Canyon. Canyon's got Shark Boy by the mask. Into the turnbuckle he goes. Irish whip into the ropes. Canyon with the clothesline. Shark Boy flops like a dead fish. <laughs> Pun very much intended. Shark Boy, like, literally huddled into the corner. Canyon once again with the mocking shark fins. Baseball slide, drop kick right into the ring post. Canyon is set to gut this young man. Wait, 
And a, well, very nice, kind of a modified, like, Russian leg sweep into a backslide. Canyon now with the side headlock. I'm sorry, chin lock. Do sharks even have chins? I don't think they do. Shark boy trying to get out. It's almost as if Canyon's got Shark Boy by a hook. Referee raises the arm. Oh man, Shark Boy down by two. Come on, can Shark Boy keep the keep the fin up? Shark Boy, Shark Boy keeps his arm up. Incredible. Shark Boy now fighting out of the headlock. Into the ropes. Go for a hip toss, but no! Canyon reverses into a neck breaker! Canyon, he's signaling he is going up top. And moonsault, but no! Shark Boy rolls out of the way from the moonsault! Shark Boy going up top now! He's going up top! Missile drop kick! Very incredible missile drop kick! One, two, and no! Tori sighing with relief at ringside that Shark Boy didn't put Canyon away! Shark Boy off the turnbuckle! Oh, no, no, no! Acid drop! Acid drop! One, two, and no! Canyon into the ropes. He reverses. What's he going for here? Is he going for like a power bomb, power driver? No, 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 wait, wait. Oh, no, 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 no. He's gonna hit it. He's gonna hit the. The aptly named, I'm better than you. Mouthful of a finisher name. One, two, and no. Maybe you're not better than him, Canyon. Canyon's got him up. Up onto the top turnbuckle. Wait a minute. Shark Boy's got him now! Deep sea drop! Deep sea drop! Deep sea drop! One, two, and no! Three! No! No! no. Right at the three count! Tori put Canyon's leg on the bottom rope! Shark Boy would try to go over the Irish whip! No, no, no! No, no! Flatliner! Oh, no! Beep, beep! Shark Boy is done! One, two, three, Canyon is the winner. Damn it. Thanks for coming anyway, Shark Boy. Better luck next time. Sadly, thanks to the dirty cheating by Canyon and Tori, Canyon is your winner. Oh, just look at that. Like, they're just soaking up this, this dirty cheating victory. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We got more action up here. We definitely got the devil part right. Alex Reynolds taking on legit Layla Hirsch. Do not let this woman's size fool you. She may not be able to reach up the top rope, but damn it, she is as legit as they come. Legit Layla Hirsch.
like the fans say at best, underestimate her, and she may very well just do that. Alex Reynolds doesn't seem to be taking this seriously at all. This will more than likely be his undoing. Oh man, classic wrestling takedown by Layla Hirsch. Now Alex Reynolds is shocked. He doesn't know what to do. And that is what you get, Alex Reynolds. Slowly getting back up now. Even after that, Alex Reynolds doesn't seem to be taking this seriously. Fans hyping up Layla, going up for a test of strength. Alex Reynolds wrestles her down to the floor and, ah, oh, walks on her back. What a jerk. Oh, ho, ho! With that strong style now. Oh, man, rolls into an R bar. Layla Hirsch rolls into an R bar. Oh, but Alex Reynolds gets to the bottom rope. Damn it. Ducks a clothesline. Oh, man, more of that strong elbows. Needing a gut. Oh, shoves her to the mat. Misses a splash in the corner. You saw a no stinger. Alex Reynolds fights out now. Layla set for the ride. Layla trying to wrestle him out. Layla rolls back. Wait. Pop up some low and drop by Layla Hirsch. Oh my god, what a no! God fuck damn it! A suicide dive! Suicide! No, 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 no! Alex Reynolds caught her! Scoop slam onto the hard floor! What kind of shit is that? Yeah, you tell them, fans! As much of an asshole the man really is, there is no denying what a good and smart wrestler that Alex Reynolds is. He is crafty. He'll do what he has to to win. Baseball slide drop kick. Just when Layla was get, was just getting up, Alex had to just knock her down. One, two, and no. Oh. Alex Reynolds is just a bully. Got her by the hair now. What are you in the third grade? Alex Reynolds got it out. What's he going for here? Oh, backbreaker by Alex Reynolds. Really working the back. After that scoop slam onto the hard wood, Layla Hirsch's back cannot be in good shape. Alex Reynolds going for a sharpshooter, figure four. No, Layla Hirsch kicks out. Mayla Hirsch kicks him away. Oh, inside cradle! One, two, and no! Mayla Hirsch not letting up now. Wait, oh wait, she's a Chris Benoit here. Going for a cross face. Got the cross face. She's always got it like a no. No, she couldn't get elected. Wait, not letting up. Going for an arm bar. Going for an arm bar. No, my man. Alex Reynolds not letting her get the grip. The man is crafty. And oh, stomp in the face. And a no one in the chest. Oh, man. I would hate to be her chiropractor right now. Wait. Oh, oh what the hell is this? Now, you're just going to insult her to her face while you're beating her up? One, two, and no. Layla Hirsch kicks out. Thank God. 
fans are 100% behind Layla Hirsch. Got her by the hair again. Cersei, are you eight years old, Alex Reynolds? What? You are standing on her hair? What is wrong with you? Alex Reynolds getting into a shouting match with a fan. Layla Hirsch fighting out now. Big strike to the face. Layla Hirsch trying to push him back so she can figure out what to do. Layla Hirsch with those strong strikes. Keep it up, Layla. And oh no, needed a midsection. Oh man, kicks him down. Layla with the big knee. Big punch to the face. Big boot to the head. German suplex by Layla Hirsch. And a big clothesline. Come on, you got this. One, two, and no. Damn it. Fans are slamming onto the ring. They are trying to get Layla Hirsch to put this guy down for the count. Layla Hirsch gonna go up top, hit her patented moonsault. Alex Reynolds rolls out of the ring. Layla gonna try to dive to the outside. Layla Hirsch flying crossbody to the outside. Let's see how you like it, Alex Reynolds. Layla Hirsch, she is in full control now. The crowd is going nuts for this, folks. They are loving every minute. Oh, no, a super kick. Alex Reynolds got her now. Power bomb. One, two, and no. Wait, oh, no, no, no. He's still got her. He's still got her. Oh, no. What's it going for? Oh, no, 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 no. He's got it. Yeah, Texas Cloverleaf! Shades of the Great Dean Malenko with that Texas Cloverleaf! Layla Hirsch, but she needs to escape! She's trying to get to the bottom rope! And just by her middle finger, Layla Hirsch makes it to the bottom rope! Damn right she's legit, fans. Damn right. Alex Reynolds now looking like a predator. He wants to hurt her. He is out for blood now. Gonna go for it again? Got her in the center of a ring. Wait, John Silver! John Silver has arrived! Wait, oh man, roll up in! One, two, and no! Layla Hurst just almost had him! Big boot! Wait, here we go! German suplex into the turnbuckle! Hot damn! Big knee! Come on, Layla Hirsch! You got this! Going up to the top! Big moon salt by Layla Hirsch! One, two, and three! Hell yeah, lunch it! Layla Hirsch has defeated Alex Reynolds! Welcome back, wrestling fans. This time we've got the charismatic enigma himself, Jeff Hardy. And he is going to be taking on a very interesting opponent in MMA fighter Ron Waterman. I'm not sure what to expect here. Ron Waterman is a great athlete and a very prolific MMA fighter. But Jeff Hardy is unpredictable in the ring and has much more experience in the business of professional wrestling. And here we go. Call on elbow time. Oh! Ron Waterman just tosses Jeff Hardy off like a rag doll.
Jeff Hardy ducks under. But, oh no, Ron Waterman reverses and oh! Takes him down to the ground. Jeff Hardy quickly rolls away. Drop toe hole by Jeff Hardy. Ducks a clothesline and, and tries to take him down or something, but he just can't lift up the big man. Ron Waterman's got him now. Going for a power bomb. Gonna finish this quickly. Oh no, Huda Conrana by Jeff Hardy. Very nice. Close line by Ron Waterman. Ron Waterman stomping into him now. Starting to toy with him a bit. Elbow drop. Ron Waterman just continuously laying into Hardy's back with those elbows. Fans chanting for Hardy, trying to get him, trying to psych him back up so he can get back in this thing. But Waterman's dominating him. Ron Waterman got Hardy in the corner now. Tosses him into the turnbuckle. Ron Waterman with the stomps. Got Hardy by the hair now. Set for the ride, Jeff Hardy. Oh no, sunset flip. Sunset flip by Jeff Hardy. Can take advantage. No, no. Ron Waterman not going down that easy. Got him by the neck. Oh no. Oh, man! Big, like, it was like a belly to belly, but it turned into a Northern Light suplex. Very interesting way of, de of, of executing that move. Scoop slam now. Ron Waterman trying to end this. One, two, and no. Jeff Hardy just looks lifeless now. He's been, he's gotten the friggin' Dickens beaten out of him. And another clothesline by Ron Waterman. One, two, and no. This may be very well be the first time that Jeff Hardy's truly been an underdog to a complete and utter newcomer. Waterman uses some of those MMA skills to lay into each part of Jeff Hardy's body. Got him in a submission. Hardy, I think Hardy's got the bottom rope. Hardy's got the bottom rope. Ron Waterman won't let him go. Jeff Hardy still won't go down. He will not stay down. Waterman beating on Jeff Hardy repeatedly. Waterman looking to finish this. And, oh no, over the rope he goes! Out to the floor! Oh, oh yeah, come on, capitalize, Jeff! Jeff Hardy capitalizing. Oh, man, nice drop kick. Crowd is going nuts. Here we go. What's Jeff Hardy going for here? Oh, yes, suicide dive. Very nice suicide dive crossbody. Jeff Hardy using that amazing high flying maneuvers as usual. Wait, Ron Waterman reverses the Irish whip and back into the ring. Ducks the clothesline, Jeff Hardy. Oh, yeah, very nice flying clothesline. Jeff Hardy into the tone buckle. Ron Waterman crashes and burns. Whisper in the wind! Jeff Hardy going up top! Ron Waterman's in a daze. Oh no! Jeff Hardy's got him! Swanton bomb! The Swanton bomb! One, two, and it's over! And it's 
Salvar. Thanks for coming, Ron Wireman. On a stick to ultimate fighting. Jeff Hardy has proven once again why he is the charismatic enigma. Welcome back, wrestling fans. We got some tag team action right here. We got the Brick City Boys, Victor Chase and Julio Cruz, taking on host A and host B, the Hispanic Mechanics. Now, silly names aside, these guys are damn good. They can wrestle. Referee rings the bell. Here we go. Victor Chase and host B starting us off. Call an elbow tie up right here. They throw each other off. They're already starting to talk some shit in this match. Victor Chase shoving his opponent. Host B with the slap. Victor Chase is mad now. Charges at him. Into the turn level now. Wait, Host B got the monkey flip. Hell yeah. Host B with the wrist locks now. Just twisting the arm of Host B. Oh! Victor Chase punching his way out of that one. Gonna show us a real monkey flip now. Victor Chase with the monkey flip. No, wait. Host B curls his way out. Oh, ho, ho. Very nice chain wrestling by both guys. Victor Chase, and Host B jumps over Victor Chase and kicks him off with his feet. Hell yeah! Host B with the side headlock. Host A tags in. Host A with the wrist lock here, working the arm of Victor Chase. Victor Chase fights his way out. Boots in the midsection. Side headlock of his own. Shot off in the ropes. Shoulder block by Victor Chase. Oh, Victor Chase gets tripped over by Jose. Drop down by Victor Chase. And oh, right into an inverted atomic drop. <laughs> Jose's starting to have fun with his opponent now. And another atomic drop. Off the ropes now, running cross buddy! One, two, and no. Fans are having a blast with him. Oh, jawbreaker by Victor J and by Victor Chase. Julio Cruz tags into the match. European uppercut by Julio Cruz. Julio Cruz reverses the reverse. Jose reverses that reverse. Jose shoved off. They're starting to have a bit of fun here, but don't get too carried away. Oh, man, Jose. Nice, full Nelson slam by Jose. Victor Chase in the ring now. Oh! Jose smoothly drops his opponent onto his own partner. Oh, speed tagging back in now. Got him in kind of spun some awesome position. Oh, slams him right into Victor Chase. Into the other turnbuckle now. And Julio Cruz gets one as well. Oh, oh, oh hot damn. Both Brick City boys go down. The Hispanic mechanics are turning this match into a party. Two count only. Oh, Speed got his he got his partner. It suplexes his own partner on to Julio Cruz. Jose Jose starting to flex. <laughs> Two count. He was flexing like that didn't even hurt him at all. All the pain onto Julio Cruz. Side headlock again by Jose. Jose backed into the corner. Oh no, Victor Chase has got him held down. Oh man, he gets the boot up. 
Almost knocked Victor Chase off the apron there. And going for something. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Oh, boot to the gut. And neck breaker on the ropes. Uh-oh. Jose is down. All that momentum seems to be lost. Will you cruise with the cover? One, two, no. Must be trying to reach out to his partner, but I mean, unless you're Monkey D. Luffy, you're not going to reach him from that distance. In the corner. Oh! Shoulder block in the corner. Tag into Victor Chase. Victor Chase with the boots. Just choking him with his boot on the turnbuckle. Julio Cruz tags back in. Scoop slam by Julio Cruz. Fans trying to hype up the, the Hispanic mechanics with the ole 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 chance, but it might be in vain. And oh, hope he didn't plan on having kids after that. Oh no, oh, another double team maneuver by the Brick City Boys. Victor Chase with cover, one, two, no! Jose, desperately trying to reach out to his partner. However, I refer you to my One Piece reference from earlier. Ain't no way he's gonna reach. Slammed right down onto his head by his hair. Letting Julio Cruz in the ring, but, but he's not tagging in. He's not the legal man. I should in the corner. Oh, no, wait. Julio Cruz goes over. Jose kicks away and Tequila Sunrise. Famous rolling clothesline perfected by none other than Mexican wrestling legend Conan. Hospi trying to reach out to his partner. Can Jose make, Jose make it? Victor Chase trying to capitalize. No, wait, gets kicked off. Hospi tagged in. And he's a house of fire. Hospi with the elbows. <laughs> oh, B chance! Back body drop! Nice job! And tossed over the top rope! Out goes Julio Cruz! Oh, no way! Victor Chase with the axe handle! Oh, speed! Reverses the Irish whip! And boom! In the corner, rolls onto his back end! Oh, nice fame master by Host B! Move perfected by the great Billy Gunn. One, two, and oh no! Oh ho ho! Julio Cruz is getting, trying to break up the pin, but ends up splashing his own partner! Move to the midsection by Host B! Signaling to end. He's signaling for the finish, but no! Julio Cruz counters! Victor Chase has got him! Oh, drop kick! And Northern Lights suplex by Julio Cruz! One, two, and no! Oh, Jose breaks up the pin! Jose got his eyes on Julio Cruz now. And oh, big elbow by Julio Cruz sends Jose to the ground. Irish whip, no wait. Oh, speed reverses. And oh, ho, ho. oh, man! Very nice elevated double T D D T! What? He can't count. He can't count the pin because he's not the legal man. Uh, Jose, Jose B didn't realize that Julio Cruz wasn't the legal man. Gonna go for the same thing on Victor Chase. Oh no! Oh no! Uh oh! That one little slip might be their undoing. Oh no! Wait! Jose B's got Victor Chase. Oh! Big headbutt. Victor Chase is down. Hosby signaling to the crowd that this is the finish. Goes up top. 
No, 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 misses the twirl, the twisting moonsault. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 oh, doomsday device, doomsday device, one, two, and three, oh man, so much for the Hispanic mechanics winning, gah, your winners, ladies and gentlemen, the Brick City Boys. After a well hard fought battle, but the Hispanic Mechanics still prove that in spite of their silly names, they are so damn good and they have a bright future in this business. Now getting shit city boys for this, for this, I mean, huh. Well there's one, they're definitely assholes, but they're not bad wrestlers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Team Atsushi Onida with Mr. Gunasuke and Katsutoshi Niyama taking on Mr. Pogo, the Gladiator, Mike Awesome, and Hideki Hosaka in the first and possibly last swimming pool barbed wire exploding death match. Yes, I said that out loud. The rules are simple. You get tossed into the water rigged with explosives, you are eliminated, as well as being pinned or submitted. The match does not end until there is one man left standing. This is not going to be a wrestling match, folks. This is going to be a war. Or maybe not even that, it's going to be a massacre! And here we see, with faces painted, ready for war, Hideki Hosaka, the gladiator, Mike Awesome, and holding a barbed wire bat in his hand, Mr. Polgo. Niyama, Onida, and Kanosuke all staring down their opponents with intent to possibly kill. I can't tell if they're paralyzed with fear or if they've lost all feeling other than the well, their rage and well, their willingness to fight. As you can clearly see, there are no ropes on two sides of the ring, and only webs of barbed wire on two other sides. Also rigged with explosives, might I add. These guys are trying not to kill each other while the ring announcer is making his introduction. And, and here they go! Ring announcer doesn't even get to finish, here we go! All three, all six men are just kicking the crap out of each other right now! Onita already beaten with that barbed wire bat! by Mr. Pogo! Ah! I don't know how they can take that! Niyama stomping on the Gladiator Mike Awesome, Ganosuke right now brawling with Hideki Osaka. Onita's face already getting grinded into that barbed wire baseball bat, that cannot be pretty! Oh, dear God. An Irish whip. Oh, no, reverse by Onita. Pogo just barely saves himself but immediately, from immediately being tossed into that water, clipping onto the platform for dear life.
And oh, Hideki Osaka with a slide. He came very close to hitting the barbed wire. Finding back Mr. Ganesuke. Ooh, nice Sumbo suplex by Katsutoshi Niyama. Onita with a headbutt. Once again, grinding Mr. Pogo's face into more of that barbed wire. Got him by the hair, trying to toss him into the water, but Pogo is like hanging on for dear life, planting his feet like a statue. Niyama with the martial arts kicks, but oh no, Mike Awesome catches him and tosses him to the mat. Ganosuke fighting back on Hisaka. Nice drop kick. Oh, pile driver by Mike Awesome on Katsutoshi Niyama. One, two, and no. And Pogo. Oh, Onita just saves himself before he gets tossed into the barbed wire by Mr. Pogo. Pogo with the headbutt now. Seems like Team Pogo has taken this match completely under control. Onita fighting back against Pogo now. Mike Awesome with the scoop slam on Hideki, on uh, Kazutoshi Niyama, and big running splash. One, two, and Ganosuke breaks it up. Nice overhead suplex by Mr. Ganosuke on Hideki Osaka. Wait, Mike Awesome got the barbed wire bat. One, two, and no. It's got the bat and oh! Right into the midsection of Katsutoshi Niyama. And another one! And another one! This is something out of a horror movie. DDT by Mr. Ganosuke. One, two, and no. Awesome, got Awesome bomb! Awesome bomb! One, two, and no! Ganosuke breaks up the pin, and then he's got like awesome at a chokehold, not letting him go. Onita with another headbutt. Shoulder charge, he's trying to knock him into the water! Oh my god, Katsutoshi Niyama is wearing the crimson mask! Onita with a DDT on Pogo back in the ring! Mike Gossum's got. He's got Niyama! Oh no, no, no! Oh my god! Somebody call 911! Katsutoshi Niyama! How is he alive? Niyama just was just tossed into explosives. Another overhead Northern Lights suplex by Hosaka. One, two, and no! It's now three on two! Shoulder block. Onita trying to ram! He is trying to ram an immovable object into the bar. No! Oh my God! Good God Almighty! Awesome. Gonna go for another awesome bump. Oh no! Pile driver! Another pile driver on Mr. Ganaske! What? 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 No. What is that? What is that? No! 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 Pogo! No! Don't do it! Ah! Mr. Pogo is gunning on Sushi Onita with a fucking sickle! Mr. Pogo! He's like becoming a literal Grim Reaper of wrestling! Dear God! Oh, no, the referee's even trying to stop him! Stop the damn match! No, don't do this, Pogo! I know you hate the man, but for God's sake! What could you possibly hope to gain, you sick bastard? 
Pogo just repeatedly digging into Onita with that fucking sickle. That is a ninjutsu weapon, not a wrestling weapon. It is deadly, deadlier than thumbtacks, barbed wire, anything. Oh, he just twisted that thing around. Leg drop. I might go awesome on the Ganas game trying to distract me from the attempted murder right there. How did Ganas get kick out? You gotta help your friend, man. You gotta help Onita. Onita's losing so much blood. Oh, God. I know. Oh! Mike Gossam close on his own partner. And Gatosuke makes the save with a drop kick. And he drop kicks Mike Gossam again. Wait. Onita's back up. He's back up. Oh, my God. He doesn't compensate with his own medicine. DDT. And now he's got the single. Oh, no. Oh! And Mike, he's not even wearing a shirt. If only this is in America, then we kill his holy shit chance! And show the black! My god, I'm getting blown up! Good god almighty, that killed him! My god, some floating around in a daze! No, can't comprehend what just happened! Osaka grinding that barbed wire bat onto Katsushi Onita's already gutted torso! He was gutted like a fish! Meanwhile, Pogo's got the sickle. Now he's grinding it on Ganasuke's forehead. He's like, what? He's gonna cut open his, cut open his head and eat his brains? And now everyone's still covered in blood. I can't even tell on Hosaka and Pogo where the faint, where the blood and the face paint ends. Ganasuke squirming. Same thing with Onita. This has just turned into a horror film, people! Good God. People, all the fans here better be saying prayers for these two men that they make it out of this alive! I mean, shit, po Mr. Pogo, you are making New Jack look like Ricky Morton! And oh my god! Kano's getting thrown into the barbed wire! No, 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 now what are you- Oh, now what are you doing, you sick fuck? Pogo, what are you doing? He's got a torch? Sure, why not? Bring fire into this as well! <gasps> he just blew a fireball on Takano's case back! One, two, and three! No! Takano'sky! Even Atsushi Onita can't believe it! The look of shock and disbelief! Takano'sky would kick out after having his back! Eat a freaking fireball! Oh, need I can't. Uh, how are either men able to even breathe or move or anything? Hosaka and Pogo are sick psychopaths. Their hatred for these two men has run so deep that they are willing to murder them in the ring! Onita just being repeatedly beaten with that bat! Oh no! What? What do you do? Pogo gonna try to shoot another fireball? What? He's got the torch! He's, he's got the fluid! He's got the lighter! What? What's he... He is, he's drinking like some kind of alcohol. He, he just ingested something. He's got the lighter. He's gonna shoot the fireball again. Oh God, Onita, pray for your life, except Jesus. And, oh, oh, he got out of the way. Got us get with a shoulder block. 
Alright, come on, you gotta capitalize, you gotta capitalize! Gotta escape with the running cross running! And both of them fall into the pit! They're both in the explosion! They both in the water! They're fucking gone! It's down to just Osaka, I don't need it now! Reverse the Irish whip into the barbed wire, he goes! Wait, Onita's got it now! Power bomb! One, two, and three! He's done it! Atsushi Onita has lived and proved why he is a true hardcore legend! Oh! As God is my witness, I don't think I've seen anything more hellacious in my time as an announcer or as a wrestling fan. Well, wrestling fans, that has been the show for tonight. Thank you very much. Tune in for more wrestling action. I'm Christopher J. Haas. Thank you. Good night. Look, I, it's my last hope. Chavo Guerrero coming off the top row. He came from Texas seeking fortune and fame. Rose pretty quickly to the top of the game, defender of the downtrodden, king of the hill.